it's almost as bad as if kung nag-winter truncheon ka. Hindi naman siya maka-cancel, pero parang wala lang. Sayang yung damage na ininalabas ni Donut. And speaking of which, itong Kufra ni Cadenza, it's a specialty. It, it's almost as bad as the 1-1 Donut for the opponents. So uh, this is going to be something to watch out for. Ladies and gentlemen, konti na lang. Mag-game 1 na tayo ng Next Play EVOS versus Onyx PH. Wolf, early game. Do you agree with me? Onyx PH, dadaan na sa bilis to. Given na sobrang focus sila sa magic, uunahan lang nila, bibilisan lang nila. Tama ba? And, yeah, definitely. They have Selina. So, ang mangyayari dito na uh, discarded ng Onyx PH, uh, be, be aggressive gamit itong Karina, gamit itong Selina. Uh, use your Farsa as well for more uh, sieging potential. Then, mag-group up. Tapos, kung sakaling kailangan dumating sa late game, meron ka namang Uranus. Position ng next play, Evos. Kanina, nung nakita ko yung laban nila, with the one with the one one I thought that they will sit back, wait for the late game. But instead, naging aggressive din sila. So, knowing next play, Evos, at naka-inspire ulit itong si Donut, tapos meron pa silang Kufra, wala kay Cadenza, they might also push the tempo gamit itong na Hayabusa. Oh, so meron ding sagot. Ang next play Evos, kaya din nilang bilisan. Pero hanapin nila ng timing. Speaking of which, we have confirmed, it is Flick playing here. Flick is in the jungle. And that means Bimo is setting it out. It's going to be a post 5 balloon. On that Selina up top, Super Marky! Super Marky! Natalunan! Napasukan dito. Next play Evos goes first blood. Wolf, ito yung sinabi mo, may potential na sumagot din at bumilis ang next play Evos. Yeah, same play as uh, kanina na ginawa doon ni 1-1. One, one. Oh no, Greed have had to flick her out. But yeah, same play na ginawa doon ni Donut. Naghanap siya ng opening. Pops the Inspire. Tapos, um, sinolok kila agad yung gold day matchup niya. This time, uh, with a little bit of uh, of help, nakakuha ng ang NXP ng uh, extra kill. Siyempre, okay, uh, Apple... Uh, how do you pronounce it? Apple Fisha, eh? <laughs> Yellow Haze. Hey. Bata Mr. Bataanon. Oh, wait, love. Yep. Kadenda, as we figure out how to read that, jumps in, threatens hatred. Ang nangyari dito, Wolf, parang until sabihin ni Flick na G, hindi papasok ang Onyx. They're gonna wait for it. Kasi nabigla sila dito sa top lane. Yeah. Ganda, napakagandang simula agad para sa NXP. Plus, hindi naman din ganun kalaki. But, Kadenda. Oh, puting hatred here. J. Lord Gonzalez at a fourth of his health. Pero makakaforma naman dito ang Onyx Philippines with this first turtle, Dilarski, El General, making space, pushing Cadenza away. Kaya ba ng EDF ito? It's going to be Oreshi. Try to contest, pero malinis. Makukuha ni Flick ito. And that's going to give Onyx Philippines more moves. Wait lang, start to heal. Kakaka sa may top lane. Pero may sagot. Marky firing back. Abing the turret. Kumain si Hayes ng ilang turret Ayan. hit. Pero nag-jungle ang next play. Ang... Turret aggro and Cadenza coming in. Ramuti ka na, pero ang daming tao ng next play Evos dito. Four people not resulting to much. Greed, babato dito ng Pana. They're gonna, they're gonna concede that engagement. And you know, my question to you is, ang hirap nung ganon. Uh, whoa, wait up. Nanako ba? Uh, we'll see. I think Pwede it's on, it's si on Flick. It's on Flick. I think it's on Flick. Oh, it was... oh it's on Flick. Oh. Alright, so, okay. question. Kahit wala namatay, that was costly for next play. Definitely. So, yun din yung sasabihin ko. Bakit? Kasi lamang na sila. And then, they lost the turtle because of that. Tapos yung, uh, which means na lalaki yung level advantage ni Flick over H2. Dahil si H2 ay natin sa top lane na tumabay. At ang nangyari pa doon, hindi napatay nung outer turret dun sa may top lane yung isang minion na may gold. Uh, kasi tinangke ni uh, Hayes yung turret aggro since they already dove onto Marky. That's why pagbalik si Marky, meron pa rin siyang gold. So hindi nila na denayan si Marky ng gold from that. And those are the small things na nagpamatter ng sobra dito sa early stages ng ating laban. Mm -hmm. And because of that, nabawi na yung early first blood doon na nabigla si Marky. And sa baba naman, here we go! Flick! Raining all the damage! Knock up by Oreshi! Ang daming sila na ni Flick Bond! Eventually, Oreshi's gonna get the kill! na beaten sa immunity si Flick. It's a one-for-one -one trade in bottom lane. Oh, top lane, hindi pa tapos! Crossbow, dang! A trigger there for Donut! Mamamatay na naman si Super Marky. Greed, a second to late for the press back. It's a, it's difficult. Ang init ng next level, sa gold lane. Yeah. 
very very good mula kay Oreshi ang uh, unfortunate nga na para sa NXP Evos ay na patay muna ni Flick si uh, H2 before he, uh, before Flick went down. Ang uh, maganda lang si Shepard na solo kill ay naka counter kill din si Oreshi. Top lane naman, this is what they need. Donut like I said, um, it's all about NXP Evos showcasing yung kanilang new talent in and donut and binibigyan talaga nila ng focus sa ngayon 1-0 and 1 on this one one is perfect like however yep. another kill sa bottom lane I think the call recently has become hayaan nyo na yung top lane mainit talaga sila dyan greed catching a circling eagle ang sagot ni hatred feathered airstrike pero na open up pa rin yung turtle na yun ang bawi naman nila the uh, gold from the shield down bottom lane and if I'm not mistaken mapapush nila yun ang ganda ng management ng waves sa baba Blue ng Onyx Philippines. So, five minutes correct for a turtle should give them some sort of ring. I think lamang nga, if anything, ang Onyx Philippines. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah, pretty much. Pero ang maganda oh. lang dito is tinlanon ni Karina, ni Flake na kumuha ng orange buff, pero si H2 yung nakakuha ng orange buff niya. Which means, ngayon na uh, yung pagbitaw niya dun sa may bottom lane kasi na-check siya ni Edith ay hindi ganun kaganda. And next play, Ibos, Still making the good place para makakuha sila ng advantage over Onyx Philippines. We're yet to see kung ano may discard dito, especially because of the turret. Destroyed. But the turret is gonna be taken by next by Evos at may Demon Hunter sword na ngayon si Dona. This is gonna uh, be detrimental kay Dilar. At in fact, pwede na nilang uh, tambayan tong bottom lane na uh, hanapin si Dilar and punish him. Oh, look at this. The collapse. Sinimulan ang nag-initiate ay CH2. John Paul Salonga cannot confirm the kill si Flick. Ay, pinasuwa na dito ng tatlo miyembro ng next play, Ivos. El General Dilarski, maharapan dito. There's a knock-up. That's the bush play. And there's the Feller Nair Strike. Mamabuhay pa ang Uranus. And that's gonna be next play, Ivos retreating. Oreshi building his dominance ice. Slowly making moves. Wolf, blue yung mapa. Ang hirap maging Onyx Philippines right now. You wanna go fast? You just can't. Humabol na ang next play. 17k. Yeah. Uh, also, si Donut ay sobrang ganda ng laba ng game na to. I, really, I'm surprised na isang farming hero like the 1-1 one -one or uh, uh, hero na kailangan ng farm ay laban ng laban. Uh, you can see that even when they're not closing in on kills, they still threaten for kills. Katulad ng move nila kay Dilar. Forcing a lot of rotations mula sa Onyx Philippines. Eventually, nakakakuha ng map control itong NXP. Yep. And just like that, Dilar usually sanay tayo makita siyang ginagawa to 1v4 buying time but at 7 minutes hindi pa siya ready possibly the last turtle of the game coming up here nasa top side siya and so far next play Evos lang ang kayang mag-afford na kunin ito unless Onyx PH makes a play arrow thrown out there by Baloy pumaporma na sila sinimulan na ni Cadenza at ni Donut H2 sinimulan na rin ito getting the shield here just confirms that next play Evos will ramp up into the mid game with the clear lead no? Ang ganda ng ginagawa dito. Sobrang impressive itong ginagawa dito ni Donut. Really uh, giving a lot of pressure against Onyx Philippines. Okay. Imagine mo na lagi siyang uh, away from his base. Hindi siya nag-sit back and farm lang. Kinokontrol nila itong river side. Yep, and right now si Green sumalo na sobrang daming attacks. Mula dito kay Oreshi na nag -boot. Turn into a marksman for just a bit. Hatred sumasalo ng shadow kill. That's going to be another false engage. Hindi makakuha ng kill doon ng uh, next play Evos. But they will find space for this tier 1 in mid. Wow. And slowly luminate lalo ang real estate ng Onyx PH. They're trying to find a kill here on to Flick. Oh, well, well high and orchestrated. Yep. Una, pinresure nila yung purple buff. Forcing the... Uh, Onyx Philippine side na gumamit ng Feathered Airstrike and knowing na yung Feathered Airstrike ay matagal na yung cooldown yun and they had no artillery artillery to um, uh, close out or, or defend yung midday nila and uh, slowly yung NXP Evos ay uh, and, uh, quietly even nakakuha na sila ng kalamangan ngayon and I like the ultimate used by H2 para maklear ito ang top lane oh, and safety and it's here para kay John Po sa longa Onyx Philippines nag-focus sa goal and ang goal nila ay push ang top lane they eventually get something. But bottom lane nga lang ang may kapalit nito. Uh, so si H2 nag-clear siya dun sa may top lane but may naiwan na isang minion kaya naman naka-push pa rin yung Onyx Philippines. Pero sabi ng NXP, teka lang ha, meron kami mas magandang trade. Ang inner turret dun sa may bottom lane, yung tier 2 turret ng Onyx Philippines sa bot ay napatumba na. So that's a fair trade na para sa NXP Evos. Hindi lang syempre masaya si H2 na nakuha niya yung second death niya but 
overall naman since ako pa rin siya ng farm doon sa may min sa minions na yun at tapos jungle naman siya they're, they're okay now Dilar might be in trouble yep another collapse here may sagot naman sa may river so dalawaan labanan unang babagsak ang Uranus ni Dilar Trinchera falls that's one man down for Onyx Philippines 5 to 3 in this 9 minute 40 second game next play Evos pumaporo pa na sinimulan ni Donut ang very first Lord the Iron Slave babagsak dito si Greed 3 men left this is so hard to contest they do have the retribution pero si Flick nahirapan din naman they're gonna try to find farm elsewhere and they have to concede this Lord next play Evos Let's secure it. Oh, Mabilis lang na take to. We're 10 minutes in. Well, they, they definitely have the advantage now. Uh, masasabi ko yung composition nila, mas maganda rin sa mid-game at late-game. Kumpara sa Onyx Philippines, unless uh, uh, magawa ng Onyx Philippines yung split push tactics nila, which in this case ay sobrang hirap. Kasi merong threat ng 1-1. Kapag nag-split push dito si Dilar, either siya yung sasabay ng 1-1 or yung 1-1 ay magpupush dun sa mga lane. So, sa ngayon, ang win condition na ng Onyx Philippines is utakan ang NXP Evos. Makakuha din ng mga initiations mula kay Creed, makakuha ng stun, then eventually go for the far side play. Tapos itong si Karina going for the execute plays. And then, uh, back on Marky for the late game, it's a slim chance now para sa Onyx Philippines as NXP Evos already is on their way dun sa kanilang win conditions. Yeah, so basically on board, Mate, ang Onyx Philippines, pero next play, Evos, they still have to play it well, they still have to respect the M3 World Championship Grand Finalists, double malefic roles picked up by next play, Evos, so this telegraphs, ang sinasabi nito is kung tsunami pa magsain yung mga tori ninyo, the inhibitors are gonna blow up here, makiklear yung wave, mid, bot, and even top, so kailangan magtake time ulit ang next play, Evos, magre-reset sila, two minutes to the next turn. Uh, actually, forcing yon yung uh, putok na yun is already okay para sa NXP Evos. Now, na makuha din ng uh, next play yung uh, jungle ng Onyx Philippines and Karina would love to get his hands on that uh, purple buff. Pero hindi nga mangyayari. At dahil din sa lamang ng NXP Evos, yung mga supports nila ay magkakaroon na rin ng tanky items. For example, Cadenza now available with the Athena Shield, which is great versus four of the members of Onyx Philippines. Na-mention natin kanina na apat sa kanilang mga uh, heroes ay magic-based. Only Marky is uh, physical. That's why uh, Radiant Armor is your Athena Shield. Eventually, sobrang taas ng value niyan para sa side ng NXP Evos. Yep, and this is one way they can do it. Ito na yung uh, sinasabi natin, one and four. Four and one. Si Dilar mm -hmm. ay uh, hihiwalay pa na, tapos ito, death bush. Naghanap sila. Pero, if you remember, Wolf, alam to ng next play Evo, si Hayes specifically. Sanay siyang tumambay sa bush ng three minutes na wala nangyayari. <laughs> and right now, si Cadenza at si Donat ang naghanap noon. No? Ito, si Oreshi din. Alam nila, tinuruan ni Hayes yung mga yan, no? <laughs> Very nice lane freeze coming out from NXP Evos at mga mga kuha sila ng kill dito sa may top lane. Oh! An attempted engagement by Oreshi. That's two frontliners, solid frontliners from NXP Evos. Cadenza going in with the jump, forcing out the feathered airstrike mula kay Hatred. And just like that, mabibilangan nila. Ilang segundo rin yun. That's, all, that's under a minute. Na kaya nila i-time. Na walang feathered airstrike. Walang ult. Greed though, throwing out. Kapana, Kadenza, sinano lang, flexing, stretching, gonna let go, gonna choke out ng purple dito, ang Onyx. Oh, well done, coming out from Onyx, uh, uh, for, sorry, from uh, Next Play Evo. Nakukotol ulit nila yung mapa sa ngayon and that means na meron silang uh, green light dito sa may um, Lord area. Yung mga times na pinuforce nga nila gamit si Kadenza, um, kahit mag-spend sila ng mga utilities, it's okay kasi naman, yung mga ultimates ng Onyx Philippines ay medyo matagal. For example, this uh, Feathered Airstrike, consider the big time ultimate na siya. Oh, oh! What? As you were explaining, Wolf, nabigla rin ako. Nabigla rin si John for so long that he tried to go in, could not even click. The Shadow Kill at biniglash na ng burst ng Onyx Philippines. Mind you, meron pang Feathered Airstrike dito. There's a toss. There it is. Hatred pulls the trigger. Down goes Green. Pinabagsak ni Apple. Pisha, also known as Haze. Pero meron pang crossbow tang dito. One per one ng palitan. And just like that, fair game. Almost since you did, I think. Dahil mayroong retribution ng Onyx Philippines. Katenza, walking on in. Pabagsak dito si Dilar. Crossbow tang! Red Team Hero has been slain. There's a kill by Donut. Dalawang bumagsak sa Onyx. And just like that, hindi na naman sila makapag-lord next play Evos. Sinsimulan na nga. 
Oh wow. Okay, so what happened there is uh, definitely yung Onyx Philippines na pakumit sila doon sa KH2. So that's a great pickup. However, NXP, pinwersa yung feathered airstrike ulit. Tapos nung lumaban sila, wala na si Dilar. And the problem with that for Onyx Philippines is pari spawn na si H2. That's why yung NXP, lumaban pa rin sila eh. They know na if it's been just waited out a little bit. Lalamang sila sa numbers and Onyx Philippines got baited na mag-commit talaga. And dahil wala silang feathered airstrike at hindi na rin, uh, hindi na rin constant yung damage output nila. It just, um, it just required isang stun doon kay Marky para si Donut ay makapag-commit na. And this is the power of the Inspire mula dito sa isang 1-1. Tapos, merong uh, Matilda, na kaya siguro din confident silang kumuha ng uh, isang 1-1 uh, kasi meron silang Matilda to save uh, itong si Donut every time that he's gonna be in a bit of a pickle. Mm -hmm. There's ways. So, itong combo ng next play ni Hoss. It's the jump-in by the Lord. He's gonna take down that inhibitor. Top and the bot. Nasink na naman nila. Ang ganda. Spacing them out. That's gonna be the jump in. Kadem. Back back. It's a H2. Taking down. Flick. That's one. Defender. Down. All inhibitors going. Maripin ka dito. Fell their strike ng maaga. Maganda trip mo na Super Marky. And that's all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, game number... Next play. Well done. Coming out from NXP boss. At may ita natin na hindi one off. Yung 1-1 one, one na to, uh, Leo. And this is actually a set plan. That's why they first picked the Matilda first. Now it made total sense to me. Ngayon lang siya, ngayon lang siya nag-make sense sa akin. Specifically when I watched that, that clash na dapat ay nasa advantage na ng Onyx Philippines dahil meron silang plus one. Pero nung time nga na makita nila na okay, um, wala ng feathered airstrike which means na walang makakapag-contest doon sa 1-1. Go for Circling Eagle, go for Marky, isang stun lang, walang purify yan. You have to use the flicker. Uh, you, I mean, you have to select the flicker. When you go for that um, uh, for that 